In this video, we're going to look at how you can prove that a point lies on a circle. And we'll also look at how you can work out whether it's inside the circle or outside the circle. So we're going to start with a very simple method that will give us a yes or no answer as to whether our point is on the circle or not. So the question is, does the point 1, 3 lie on the circle with that given equation? So we'll start by writing out the equation again. And so we've got two letters in there. We've got our x and our y value. And we can, of course, obtain that from our point 1, 3. So we can replace x with a 1, and we can replace y with a 3. And so we do that substitution, and we get that expression. All I've done is replace the x with 1 and the y with 3. We can then evaluate that, and then we can get a slightly tidied up uh, expression that I've just sort of sorted out those brackets. You square those out, add them together, and you end up with the statement that 5 equals 25. Well, of course, 5 does not equal 25. That is complete rubbish. So this tells you that it is not on the circle. If you had 25 equals 25, that would tell you that it is on the circle. However, we don't get that, so that's telling us that it's not on the circle. So if you have the equation and a point, just put the point into the equation, and you'll see whether it's equal or not. That's not the greatest method in the world because it doesn't tell you a huge amount of information. It's really a yes or no sort of way of doing it. And it relies on you having the circle equation or working out. So I'm going to show you some other methods that are slightly better. And from this, you'll be able to see exactly where it's fitting in. So does the point 1, 3 lie, lie on the circle with exactly the same equation as the previous question? So let's think about where the center of this circle is. So we need to make this bracket 0, and that will give us the x-coordinate. So if we had x equals 2, that would be 0. So that's giving us the x-coordinate of the center. Then we look at this one. If we want to make that 0, we'll need y being 1. So that gives us the y-coordinate of the center. So we get a circle with a center of 2, 1. Let's think about the geometry of this problem. We've got point 1, 3, and we've got a center of 2, 1. So there's our point 2, 1. We might have a point somewhere there, 1, 3. They're going to be connected by a line, and we're going to find the length of that line. So you think about the geometry a little bit further. So we're going from here to here. That means we're going along by 1. And to get from here up to our point, we'd be going up by 2. That's looking at the y values. So we can see from simple Pythagoras, 2 squared plus 1 squared square rooted is going to give us root 5. So you can see from the geometry that the center of the circle and our point is root 5 away. You could alternatively use the distance formula and simply take your center and your point and substitute that in. So you're finding the difference between the center's x-coordinate and the point squared. And then you are finding the difference between your y values squared. Because it's squared, it doesn't matter which way around you do it because the, the minuses will will be squared out, then you'll end up with a distance of root 5. And that's exactly what you expect from the geometry. Now, you look back at the equation, and since this is written in this form, we can tell that this is our radius squared, because this is a standard form equation for a circle. So we can, of course, say that the radius is root 25, so therefore the radius is 5. So from the center to your circle is a distance of 5, and from your center to your point is only root 5. And of course, root 5 is less than 5, so it's inside the circle. So in other words, to go from your center to your point, you're traveling less than the center to the outside, which is the radius. And so therefore, this point must be inside the circle. We're going to do one more example. And this shows you don't actually need the equation. As long as you have the center and you have the radius, you can actually work out a little bit more. So does the point 515 lie on the circle with center 55 five and a radius of 10? You can simply use the distance formula straight away, find your difference squared between your x values plus your distance squared between your y values. So we're just going to substitute in our two points. So we've got our center and our point, substitute those in, and you get that the distance between those is root 100 or in other words, 10. So what you can conclude is that the distance is equal to the radius. The distance between your point and your center equals the radius. So therefore, it must be on the circle. So I've showed you various methods. You can now tell whether a point is on the circle or 
inside or outside the circle. So hopefully this video has been very helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.